today I'm going to do my little snail and it is tiny, little tiny baby one. I got that from AliExpress. It's a little app that I go on. It's a bit like Wish. So I'm going to do that. And also, this is going to be a two-parter. Going to fill these up. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Fill these up with black. And then I'm going to, when I when they're cured, I'm going to take them out and I'm actually going to put them in coasters. But with the snail, I'm going to do his shell, teal, um, oh, chameleon. I couldn't think of the word, sorry. <laughs> my brain's going in my old age. I'm going to do the shell chameleon and I'm going to do his body champagne now while i think about it i'm not sure if i've got them still yes i have all right so what i'm going to do is i've got one of my mic uh, micro brushes and i'm going to bring you down i'm going to show you how i'm going to get into his little eye socket -y thingies so oh let's wait in that get that Get out and walk. There's something in there and all. Or is that on the outside? I hope it's on the inside. Oh, I tell you. You can sit there and you can clean your moulds as much as you like. And you can guarantee you're going to end up with stuff in it again. That's better. So this is just a bit of um, masking tape I'm using. Just stick it in and... Get all the dust out. That's it, I think. That would do. Right. Okay, so let's bring you down. Excuse me while I bring you down. There you go. Okay, so this one, I'm going to use this till. No, Nala, I'm doing resin. Right, she's trying to get up on me. So I only want a little bit, and I'm just going to paint his shell and you can see what I'm doing just painting it all inside spreading it around as much as I possibly can and I will look on this side and I can see where the shell ends We'll probably have to do a little bit of clearing up, cleaning. As you can see, look, you can see where I'm I'm brushing the mica. I went around that bit, around that bit. I do love this till. It's so, oops, such a beautiful colour. Even went better when you put it where you want it and not everywhere else. <laughs> but as I said, I knew I was going to have to do some cleaning. Right, and then back over to the other side. Get the other side all cleaned, all brushed in. Not cleaned, brushed in. Yeah, I got some mica all over the place on this. That's the only problem with mica powders, they go everywhere. But you can clean them off easy enough. Okay, so I think that is everything painted. Painted? I'm not painting, am I? Wiped over. Okay. So now I'm going to get my tissue. Oh, Bring as much as extra I can out, and then with a baby wipe, if I've got any that's left that's not dry. Okay, bit of a baby wipe. Right now, I think my nozzle's blocked. My nozzle is blocked right up. I don't know why. Something has got in there. Right, 
no, it's not gonna, it's not gonna have it, so I'm gonna have to do it this way. A nightmare, I have to get a new sprayer. Right, okay, so let's put a bit of alcohol ink on it. Ink, alcohol ink. Oh my, my days. You know what I mean. 100% alcohol. I boof I can't say the words. <laughs> right, let's clean that up. Just like that. It's all nice and cleaned. Okay, so with my little one, I'm going to get a little tiny bit on the end. Not a lot, and I'm going to very carefully stick it down the hole and wash it around. And I want, if possible, I'd like the actual antenna itself painted. You can see, where, oh, I think I'm on the wrong hole. <laughs> On the wrong hour, ain't I? Oh well, he's got two now. <laughs> there you go, he's in there. <laughs> and it's up and down. Hopefully, painted enough or powdered enough. Right, okay, so he's got two now. Hopefully, they're covered. Hopefully. Right, so, with my brush, I'm going to clean it off. Oh, oh, nearly. Still some on there. That's it. That'll do. Put him away. And I'm going to put a little bit of alcohol on the end of this mic brush and just clean up inside a little bit, if I can, that is. Shouldn't be too bad. We will find out when we demold. Hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Right, okay, so he is done on that bit. And we're going to get this one, which is the champagne. And because I've already got the blue on there, it doesn't matter if the champagne goes over it because it won't stick to it because it's already stuck. Uh, the blue's already stuck to it. So, nice bit of champagne going. Bit of the old bubbly. Oh, whenever I start doing resin, I always sit there and think, oh, I'm, I'm thirsty. Don't know why. When I mix, I do wear my mask. Um... I choose to take it off so I can talk to you because I don't have a decent microphone to do a voiceover. So I choose to do it without a mask on. I mean, if you can see what I can see, you can see the mic powder flying around a bit. You don't really not want that down your lungs, but. I can't help it with me because I've got no way of stopping it. Right, so that's ready to do. I'm going to be putting uh, dark blue in that. So we will do that now. Let me just put my uh, powders away. Otherwise, I might get resin all over them. Okay, I'll 
put my gloves back on from when I was mixing. Let's put the lid back on that because knowing me, I will knock it flying. I know what I'm like. Okay, so with this, I've got two here. I'm going to put some in this one. And I'm going to go to about there. I have not got a clue how much I need. I haven't measured it. I never do. Mine's always guesstimation. So this blue is from Resonate. It's beautiful blue. Look at that. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Let's stick that in there. And the, the black is also resonate. Oh, it sticks the stuff together. My black is also resonate. Oh, and I'll put some in here, don't I? Stupid. Uh, I'm going to go that far much got a little bit left in there just in case do the same again give it a mix scrape it off stick it in right oh that's a lovely blue Give it a good stirring. That should be enough. Okay. Now, I'm going to tip it up so I can see oops, the little eye bits and stick some in there first. In the head bit. And hopefully... It will just go down. Give it a squeeze just in case there's any bubbles. I hope I'm doing this in sight because I keep taking it out of your sight. I know I do. And the nose. Make sure the nose is full up. Don't want no air bubbles. Okay, so here we go. Let's pour it in. Will I have enough? Oh, looks like it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there you go. That one is done. I can't see any air bubbles, which is good. So that's just going to sit to the one side. I can put a little tiny bit more in there. Because when resin cures, it pulls away. It like shrinks. So I'll put some more in there. Not much. Just enough. Doesn't matter if I overdo it because I can always file it off if need be okay back in a minute i think the dog's gone out right i don't know if you can see it but i see loads of bu bubbles there so i use a lighter like this and just go over the top it's not strong enough to burn your mold or to um fuse it well as long as you don't hold it on there that is um, but it's strong enough to pop bub bubbles. Right, so then we've got the black, which is going in this one. Let's give that a good mix. Now, I want this really black. 
and I don't know if this is going to do it. Hopefully, I might put some glitter in it actually, make them glittery cats. Let me find some glitter. Because it will let me finger. Let me see if I can find some black glitter. Mm -hmm. Got this. It's uh, embossing sparkle. I've used this before. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look at the way that that sparkles. So I'm just gonna put some in there. Because also this will make it blacker. Now, as I said, this is just uh, embossing powder, black sparkle. Got this from The Range, which is the English company again. Give that a stir. Oh, yes, I like that. I think that's I think that's dark enough. I can hear my dog outside, she's barking her bleeding her head off again. Neighbours gonna get so cheesed off with her. <laughs> okay. Not gonna go mad. Okay, gonna let her in again. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> nearly forgot to turn the, the camera back on. Okay. Pour into the tail a little bit, help the uh, resin move. Okay, move up in that pool. Into his tail. Oh, yeah, again, I've gone quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> Those who know me know I go quiet when I'm concentrating. <laughs> Don't want to overdo it, but you need enough in them. Okay, I think that's enough for all of them. Okay, so I've got a bit left, so let's put you to one side. over there okay All right while I'm thinking about it I bet I'll give it another go over you can see the bubbles popping when you do it with this it's brilliant you can really see where you've been Uh 
and it's not ink so you're not going to set fire to your house some people including myself have made the mistake of overheating the resin or um, using something to um, well, I can't think of the word too harsh and, it, uh, and it's been on ink and it's set fire I'm about to sit here and blow it out <laughs> let's do one of these oh. okay let's give it a bit of a quick oh, paper's all ripping the wrong way again useless stuff this is It's absolutely useless, this stuff. Right, that's basically cleaned out. Now, if I can, I'm going to get as much of this out. Right. Sorry, I'm doing the wrong hand again. It doesn't help that I'm right-handed. One of these days I'll be able to change the camera direction. You'll be able to see what I'm doing. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have got this big one out. This is the last of my uh, Let's Resin 2 to 1. So I'm just getting it out as much as I possibly can to fill this up because I don't think it's going to work what I was thinking. Now let's go. This. I don't think it's going to work. I don't think I've got enough here. Not, I've got another idea. Right. Come on, level out, level out. Right. Hopefully, this will be enough to take them little fish eyes out. That one's done. That's it. Okay. So, now... I'm going to get some uh, ah, I've packed them ones okay so it's going to have to be these ones which is the pigments let me move him out the way because I'm going to see me knocking him flying in a minute Woo! no don't do that <laughs> or that <laughs> ow fish hooks <laughs> god I don't think I've actually done one single bleeding video where I haven't spilt everything I'm damn sure that near on every single video something happens Right, good job I had some blue left. Okay. <laughs> I'll clear that up in a minute. Right. Let's chuck that over there. 
Oh, God. Right old pickle. Two secs, just drinking my tea before it gets cold. Right, I'm back. I always forget my tea and it gets cold and then I have to stick it in the microwave to warm it back up again. And it's never tastes the same. Hopefully. Right. Now, I want to do, I've packed all my colours up. So let's do tan, tangerine. Oops. These are um, Decorom pigments. They're not, not um, what you would call it, inks. They are pigments. And then I'm going to do yellow middle. Should have done that first, but never mind. Okay. And then I'm going to have a bit of... What's that? Pearl, isn't it? Yep, yeah, get pearl. Oh, maybe I'm not. I think that's empty. Let me try it. Oh, maybe not. Not quite. Bit of pearl in the middle. Okay, uh, let's have a bit of what's this lavender? Okay, lavender, and let's have. Um, shall we have some lime? Put the lime all the way around the outside. Okay, so that's them done. Then I'm going to get myself uh, my dotting tool, which is this one. This one. And I'm going to just skid that a quick. Uh, let's go from the outside. As it's a dotting tool, I'm not bothered about the fact that it's going to touch the, the base at all. So I'll go there like that, and then get rid of. Oh. As I said, it's not ink, so I can put a torch on it. So then I want. Um, where are you, little one? Get off! Get off! Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'm going to do blue first. So what I'm going to do is. Just give it some blue texture like this. <coughs> Excuse my dog. Someone's obviously walking around outside. See, most people do this with white, but I thought I'd have a go with blue. That pink's lovely. I like that pink. Very nice. And then another row. What's going to wipe me? end of my stick but there ain't much point Oops. Okay. 
be interesting to see what this comes out like. Right. And then I'm going to add some black. I'm going to have to find another um, mould. I can see it coming. Oops, that's going to go into a big blob. Trying not to go down on these ones so they don't go down to the bottom because obviously I have a couple of times and we will find that it's probably got blobs on the other side then where I've hit it with the um, colour. I haven't got a clue what this is going to look like so here you go. Do some at the top here. I don't even know if because it's um pigment, I don't even know if it pull in. It might not even pull in. Okay see what that comes out like <laughs> do you ex like to experiment because I'm not that brilliant at doing these um, coasters and flowers I do try I try very hard very trying I am actually <laughs> um, and quickly we will have I don't know this one this one and we'll have uh, get black. Am I gonna get any blue? <laughs> Not really, am I? Get blue. blue stick just make it into a messy muck messy mud mud messy puddle that's what I'm looking for there you go have a bit of blue Okay, and then I shall finish it off with the black. Straight on top. So it'll probably turn out just one big mess. I'm not putting on this one. This is just basically using what I've got up. And as it's black, I'm not that bothered as such. There you go. Oh, look, you can see some blue in there. Okay, there's a little bit. I like to get as much as I possibly can out. It's amazing how much you can get out if you try. Right, that would that be done. That'd be done. Can I get any more out of that? Doubt it. So now, what I'm going to do is just pick up this bit here, if I can, 
and put that in there. Well, you might be able to see the blue both sides. We'll have to wait and see. There you go. So I'm going to clear up and I shall come back and I shall show you uh, stage two of the cats. So, ta da for now. Oh, yeah, these are all nice and dry. I think this is going to be, um, that's a bit sticky still. No, it's not. It's the middle bit. Ugh, it's the middle bit that's still not quite dry. <laughs> I think that's because I use the. Um, oh god, the not the inks, the the pigments things. I know what I mean. This is very bendy, look. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely make this into something else if we wanted to. <laughs> there you go. Well, considering it was a mishmash of stuff, <laughs> I mean that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. It's still very sticky. So, what I'm going to do? I've got my baby wipes top and I'm going to give that square up with the silicon release <laughs> stinky and I'm going to put it in so you see uh, this side no this side in so it might stick as it's still got the wetness to a bit of a wetness to it so it'll go in there look at the way it's folding up <laughs> that's unusual isn't it the way it's gone so i'll stick that down there i'll put another bend in that one okay so what i'm going to do is let's stick some tape over it oh if I can get it over it to hold it in place so it will just oh, stuff's useless I want it to sit down there so I want it to be pushed in more in and I'll try and find the end of this thing I think this has come to the end of his life <laughs> uh, straight away and then curls oh this stuff is a nightmare okay let me put that under there okay I'm gonna leave that and we're unmold that the same time as we sort the cats out. No, as we unmold the cats as such. Okay, this was the other thing that I had done with the, the leftover, the very last bit. Oh, you can see some blue on there as well. Huh. That bends as well. That's all bendy. It's nothing, it's just, I will probably end up smashing this up and just use the the bits in something else because I've picked up one of the trays, uh, one of the, yeah, I've picked up the one which has got a, a mark and I don't know if you can see, let me put this light on, oops, I don't know if you can see that. Well, I'm useless at finding the camera, but so I'm sorry if I've missed it. 
and uh, it shows up on there look you can see where it is I don't know what's happened there never used to be like that so I don't know but yeah there's a lot of bubbles in the edge as well but I'm not bothered it was just chucked in wasn't it but that's fine okay let's have a look at snazzle Okay, fingers crossed if I can get it out open. Ah, there you go. Break the seal. Break the seal. Now I've watched somebody do this and they took the head out first, but that was a different mould. So with this one, I'm not sure... I'm just going to start from the back and roll it over the back, that's it, and then fingers crossed I've got all his eyes, yay, oh I've missed that bit and that bit, oh how anno oh and that one, how annoying, you see, I've missed them bits. It didn't get all the way down the resin. Did on that one. Oh, how annoying. So, inside them little bits, will there still be the powder? I'll have to try and clean that out somehow. Oh. Other than that, oh my God. He's beautiful. And... With no, that's too thick. Let's do this one. Let's do the gold. I think. Okay. I know he's he's not perfect, but I want to just trace that bit all the way around and down. And that just adds that little bit to his shell. Damn. Oh, I'm so upset about that. That would have been beautiful. Oh, well, I'll have to have another go. Mind you, <laughs> poor little thing. I'm surprised he survived the amount of times I knocked him over and emptied him out. But look at that teal. That teal is absolutely gorgeous. And that champagne is as well. I love them. They haven't actually gone so much chameleon. Maybe it's because I've got a blue behind it and not a black. So maybe next time I'll do the black behind it. But he's cute. And these, all these are, are Deco Colour Liquid Gold. I got them on Amazon. They're extra fine. And you get the gold, a white, and a black with it. So, yeah, I can't even remember how long ago I bought these. I've had them for ages. I don't use them very often. Um, and then we've got the putty tats. Sorry, I I say different things for different things. Uh, different things. My daughter goes, oh, will you stop saying things like that? Because it's like Wellingtons, I call them welly bogs. Okay. Oh, these are still a little bit bendy as well. So I've got to be careful. Don't want to lose his tail or his tootsies. There you go. There's one. Same boat. Oh, look, that's more shiny that side, isn't it? Oh, I love that. Wow. I'm glad I put that glitter in there. That's that one. And if you're wondering, Tootsie's his feet. Oh, I love these. 
These are going to look beautiful in a coaster. I used to be a mummy of four cats. Over the last two years, I've lost... No, over the last three... Two, yeah, two years, I've lost three of them. They're all around about the same age. They all lived till they was about 15 years old. And I've got one left. She was the first one I got. And she is now, I think, nearly 20. Or she is 20. She is 20. Oh, I love it. I love them. They are going to look brilliant in the coaster. So what colour am I going to do the coaster? That is the question. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I want something that they pop. So I'm thinking white. But then white shows, I don't know, I might do white, just plain white. I'm not ready to do that anyway at the moment because um, I'm still busy doing other bits and uh, packing to, to move. That's in the process. Just, so... At the moment, I'm doing other bits as well. So anyway, I will come back. Oh, and we'll be using, or I will be using this. It's a new epoxy resin I bought off of um, Amazon. Do all my shopping on Amazon. I've started AliExpress, but that was more moulds. Um, and that's really, um, apart from like local shops, that's all I ever shop from. But this, we do a little unmolding, uh, un thingy, shall we? Unboxing. So let's put these to the side so I don't ruin them. Because you know what I'm like. Miss Accident Prone. I don't want them ruined. I love them. Right. In this box, it's a... Uh, 500 to 500 mil epoxy resin by FT Suti. I, I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, it's casting and coating epoxy. All right, uh, let's see. Mix together for three minutes. Um, Minimize, stir gently, minimize, minimize the formation of air bubbles. Piss any bubbles with a pin or use a heat gun to remove bubbles. Add resin dyes, that's optional. And that's basically, uh, let stand for hours. The thicker the mixed resin gets, the longer the curing time. So, it's not got anything about curing time, so it might have something inside. I haven't really looked at, <coughs> oh, excuse me, haven't really looked at what I've got. So, you get, that's, that's the lids for the two bottles. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four. Yeah, five of these 100 mil plastic cups. I like these because the resin just goes plop out. Um, I think these must be gloves, but I don't wear these ones. Not if I can help it. Uh, oh, look, there's some more gloves there. Oh, there's loads of gloves. And you've got mixing sticks six of them i'll put them yeah they're all the small ones so i'll put them straight in my little pot 
And then you've got, oh, pipette. Yeah. That's it. We've got six pipettes. Do I count with that right? Yeah. Then we move up. Put them over there. Because I will be using this resin so this is the resin part a and part b so huh well that's stupid isn't it there's absolutely no cure in time it doesn't say anything about how long you work time you've got <sighs> now that is the instructions that i was reading out So it doesn't tell you anything about curing times at all. So it's BPA free, whatever that is. No. And it's made in China. Well, or the boxes or the label, one of the, one of the two. But that's what I'm going to try. So I might as well leave that out, hadn't I? As I've uh, took everything out of it. I love these pots. I've only got a couple. I don't even know where mine have gone. I've disappeared. That's the point. Unless I've put them away. As I'm packing, I don't know what I'm putting away and what I'm not. But anyway, that's what I'm using. So I shall be back once I'm ready. And I shall put the lids on to make it easier to pour. So I shall see you soon. Oh yeah, right. I've redusted this, but this time I've used blue chameleon powder and Galaxy from Let's Resin. And I'm going to put black on the back. So I've got glove on one hand. Oh, I can hear that going crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave that to about there. And I'll do the snail first so let's open up the black i've got glove on this hand and that will do put that away. Ooh. I don't know how much this is. This is the new resin. It's, this is this this one here. Uh, Casting and coating. Uh, FT Suti? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. But I thought I'd give it a go. See what it looks it's like. It's thick. So that's going to be a pain in the backside to get down that little bit again. On the snails eye socket bit so how are we going to do this um, 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 um stick that down there for a minute let me get let me get let me get let me get i'm gonna get one of these has got a end to it but it's clean in a sense and i'm gonna Dip it in the resin and I'm going to dip it down. Resin goes where resin is. So if I do this, hopefully the resin, I don't know, can you see what I'm doing? Can you see what I'm doing? You can see the little holes and I'm just sticking the resin as best as I can down the holes. Because I, I want him to have the antennas but he's gonna have black ones this time with a blue dot on the top he's gonna be a multi-colored one yeah, get down there you and that's all I'm doing is basically pushing it in and wiping it around so the resins there and then gradually filling up the little hole 
with the resin itself so it's already filled up hopefully this time it's hard to very very hard to try and make sure that there's no bubbles in them and that it's gone down to the bottom and hopefully it has it seems to be uh, going around a lot right I'm just gonna have to keep my fingers crossed on that one then right okay so then the rest of it is you see that you can see I put the camera so you can see what I'm doing no, all it is is just pour this in, and I might not have enough there. Oh, have I got just enough again? No, nope, I'm just short this time, I think. Or have I done it? Let's see what I can get out. Oh, look at that. I've just guessed it right again. <laughs> Oops. There you go, that would do. Look at that. Spot on. Right, for these, I have sprayed these with mold release. Oh, God. What is it with my place? I always end up with hairs or fluff or glitter. I think that's everything. Hope. Okay. Nope, there's another bit there I can see. That's it. Right, this I just literally I ain't got a lot left of it. This is just gonna cover the bottom a little bit. I just want the oh there's another bloody bit. Excuse my French. That's so all I want to do is put a little bit on the bottom for the cat to sit on. Okay, so you can have a little bit more. You can have a bit more. And you. Can have the rest. And then all I'm going to do is put the cats in and let them cure up. Okay. Oh, honestly, that um, mixing jug is just about at it, I think. Uh, put it all to the edges because obviously I want an even coat otherwise it will show when I put the next the top coat on learn not to do it over each other because <laughs> bits and pieces come off the bottom of the uh, coasters I think this is the one I just used and I think it's got a little bit on the bottom just making sure it goes in all the little corners so it doesn't miss nothing oh look there's a hair in there oh surprise surprise 
to get that out. Oh, there's my little other little pink thing, purple thing. Come on, where are you? There you are. Right, with this one, where is it? Where did I see it? Where did I see it? My eyes are terrible and I can't, I'm not sure where I saw it now. Hmm. Not sure. We've covered it now. There it is. I knew I saw one. That's it. Right, let's cover these. For some reason, I work on my kitchen countertop and it's supposed to be 100% level. It's not. I don't know what, I don't know what goes on. Um, I sit there and every time I do a coaster, it goes for a wander. It never seems to want to sit where it's supposed to sit and do what it's supposed to do. That's a bit hard bit of resin, probably would have just disappeared in it, but I'd rather get it out. And that bit, and that hair. Okay, so that's all into the corners. So, where's my lighter? There's my lighter. Okay, so with my lighter one, I'm going to go around the edges and just go over the top quickly. I don't like to use my big. Um, kitchen torch thing because it's too harsh too harsh for something like this this is a little flame enough to burst bubbles oh, there's hair in that one and there you go Just like that there's lots of little bits in here I can see it I get that yet? Got that hair. Okay. So. Oh, and across the top of him. Okay. Right. With these, I'm going to put the real glittery side down. So like that. Glittery side and put it down. There's another hair. It'll probably come off me because of the dog and the cat. They like to sit on me. As soon as I sit down, you can guarantee my animals are sat on me. Right, and the other one in there, like that. And that's all I'm doing to them at the moment. And then micro bubbles, like that. Do a squish around, hopefully it'll get any bubbles out. Hopefully there won't be any. Okay, now I would say spritz it, but I can't because for some reason my nozzle's bleeding clogged. <sighs> I haven't got oh, put a hole in my thing now. Right, I'm going to see if I can get a needle and stick that hole. See if I can get it working again. So anyway, that's all I'm doing for now. I shall come back once these are all cured up. See you soon. These are all nice and dry. 
so I've got to mix some resin up for them but this you can see it hasn't gone down the ears, uh, eyes a bit again it hasn't gone down that bit again so I'm gonna demold it it's so annoying that it keeps on missing that one bit I've only moved the cats so I don't get them all dirty yeah it's those two again they've gone down further admittedly but it's those two again Ooh. got black there I don't know how I've got black there hmm Look, ugh. Oops, where's my other new bag? Where's oh, my wipes? Oh. Oh, I'll try these ones. These are biodegradable. Oh, I'll have to go at these, see if these are, are good to use. Oh, that's weird. So I've got a hole there. Oh, that's really weird. Why would I have a hole there? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's not. Obviously, the black inside isn't completely... Um, cured. Oh, how? Oh, well. That's another one down the drain. I will do it again. And I will. I will conquer it. I'll take them bits out. They're good anyway. Oh, well. Back to drawing board. Try again. Anyway, I'll be back once I've uh, mixed up my resin for this. I'll probably chop half of that out because you don't really want to watch me fight to get a bit of resin out. Anyway, see you in a bit. Right, mix me resin up. I've done 200 mil. Probably too much, but I've done 200 mil. I've actually put inside, I've, I've coloured it um, with cast and craft and then I got my magic gold mica powder um, hang on let me just scrape this so I don't lose it all which is which one is it this, it's this one um, it's just a set I got off of Amazon when I very first started love this one and I don't think it's going to show up but I put some Malibu rainbow in it I just tipped it in I didn't put the drops in I just tipped it so what I'm going to do is very carefully slowly on top of the cat going to go across it like this and I'm going to let it drip down over the sides. I'm hoping that because I'm letting it do it this way, I won't get the bubbles. I'm hoping. You never know with resin. Uh, we shall see. Come on, a little bit more. I want them ears covered. It's funny because in a sense I can feel that I've got way too much, but I don't mind. I'm quite happily pouring it in.
Can you see the gold shimmer to it? Love it. Absolutely love this one. Do you know what? I've got a feeling I haven't done too much. Mind you, you don't have to do them thick, but obviously because the cat's quite a thick, chunky bit, it might be a bit different. Is you going to go in that little hole there? Yes, I think you did. Okay, so let's fill you up. More. Fill you up a little bit more. I mean, if I don't have enough, I'll just make some more up. I should, hopefully, have enough. If I don't overfill. <laughs> I didn't see through it, look. <laughs> I think this one's literally done. A bit more in that one. That one looks like it's near enough full. Look at that. I, <laughs> I'm shocked. I honestly thought I was going to have some left over. Just scraping out the last bit. That's it. Okay, the rainbow is alcoholic. So I'm not putting it um, heat on it. I'm just going to give it a quick blast with that. And that's it. Oh, I love it. That one doesn't seem to be as deep down, does it? Because you can see it more. Never mind. I'm happy. So I'm going to cover them up and I shall be back when we demold them. A little uh, net over the top. Ta da! Now these are nice and dry. Shall we have a look? Haven't filled them up completely. Well, yeah, because there's, there's a little lip there. Okay. Now, I think these might have to have a top coat because my moulds are getting a bit old and uh, a bit bendy. And uh, I think they've got some scratches on them and things. So I might put a top coat. don't know. Usually when I do a top coat, I end up ruining the actual coaster itself. <laughs> I've done that quite a few times. Oh, look, a bit of the mica powder that I didn't mix in. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, shall we have a look? Oh, look, it's so cute. Doesn't need top coating either. Oh, wow. I love that. Can you see? I love that. That one? Oh, there's a bit black in there from somewhere. Wow, and that one. Oh look, oh, I love them. Oh, I'm so happy with these. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, you, there's a bubble. I thought there was. Damn, that one might need top coating then. So if I got top coat that, I'd have to do them as well. There's a little bubbles in there as well. Oh, I can see some bubbles in the in the cat. And them too, anyway. And some little ones in that one. That one, which is... Oh, no, it's not the one. That one's all right. If I'm going to top coat one, I will top coat the lot. I love them. I think they are so cute. And I'm debating whether to put a black outline. Oh, there's a little bubble there as well. A black outline around it. I'm really thinking about doing that. I've got some light micro bubbles around the outside. But yeah, I might, yeah, I think I might have to, if I'm going to top coat them, what I'm going to do, I'll put latex on the back here and then just put a coat over and uh, I'll probably do it um, later on. But yeah, I'm uh, debating whether to put the black around. If I'm going to put the black around, then I would do a, a top coat that's going to come over the edge so it actually um, locks in the colour. So I'm not sure on that. I'm not sure at all. So anyway, if I do, I shall come back and I shall show you what I'm doing. See you in a bit. Right. I got this one. Acrylic paint marker. Uh, Dela Roney. I think I got these off of, um, these would have come off Amazon. So, I'm just going to have a look. Let's see what I think. Trying to get the groovy bit. Hmm, it's gradually going down there, isn't it? Oops. Yeah, see, it comes off too easy. And I can't put my latex on because I've packed it. I didn't expect to be using my latex. <laughs> Scraping that bit off there. So. Oh, get on the owl. On the thing, you. You know, it's not. Not very uh, neat, is it? Um, there's that bit there. Still, it's going on. It's going on. So I'm going to do this with all four of them. And hopefully, oh, God's sake. hopefully, the paint will, the acrylic paint will dry and be all right and stay on there. Just clean that bit off. It didn't go right in that bit there. So it goes down the bottom. That's it. You can see where I've got holes. <laughs> So maybe, can I? Yeah. Fill the holes, uh, the bubbles in. Like that. There's quite a few little micro bubbles. This was the first coat as well. And I turned around and made sure it was all in the little um, nooks and the crannies, didn't I? 
but it didn't work very well. Right, I'm going to sit down and do this and I'll be back once I've done this one. Okay, I've mixed up 100 grams of the resin. This is that funny named one, uh, uh, coating and casting and coating epoxy. So I've mixed up that. Hopefully I've got enough. Should have. So, sorry if I'm getting right up in your face with the thing. Let's put that down there for a minute. I'm going to give it a quick... Not that that may... Oh, a bit too much. Okay, so I'm just going to pour some in the middle. Let it spread. Now I haven't done the bottom of these, so I'm hoping it's not going to need to be sorted. Because if it does, I could have fun. Right, now I want that bubble in there definitely covered so that's still showing so what I'm going to do I'm going to get my tweezers and I'm just going to go in the hole best as I can to open it up a bit and then drop hopefully drop the resin in there going in I think it's going yeah it's going in and remember to clean your tweezers off otherwise they will stick and they won't be no good okay so I'm gonna put a little bit more on because obviously that's not it's stopped moving hasn't it So all I'm doing is I'm going to drag it out and basically bring it up to the edge but I'm not going to go over. I'm going to take my time with this. I'm hoping this is not going to go over. Because by rights you should be able to touch the edge and it won't go anywhere. Just like that. Right, I'm going to be concentrating probably, so I probably won't say a lot, <laughs> as always. Somebody did say to me, if you bring it out like this, it shouldn't go over. So I'm, <laughs> I'm hoping it's not going to go over. Because I will be upset if it does. But then I suppose I'll have to do the back if it does. I can't find my... Um, latex so that's why I've not put latex on the back I think I did say that okay that's that one we'll need to push it in a little bit more I expect if I find holes okay so now this one just remember don't go crazy because every time you break that seal on the top, 
it will go down so I'm hoping this is going to work as I said every time I do top coating I end up mucking it up some of it's quite close to the edge already look Uh, it might be a case of it's not even. Maybe I should have uh, chopped the level on it first. Okay, that's that one. See, this one's going that way. There's a hole there. Oh, don't you dare go over. Eek. That's me trying to do two things in one go. Sure, if that's a hair or something in there, I don't think it is. Okay, there's bubbles in there, I can see bubbles. I can definitely see bubbles, so I'll be going over with my torch. So, because this is already cured and there is no silicone mold, I can use the um, kitchen torch, not the lighter. See, that one looks like it's all done basically. Right, so in there, I don't want that in there, whatever that was. Okay, so my torch, oops, smash everything about and give it a going over with the torch, get rid of all them bubbles. As I said, got nothing to burn apart from the resin, so just don't sit in one place. Give it a good torch. Hopefully, that's it. So I've got a little bit left over. So, hey, <laughs> snail's coming out. <laughs> but this time I'm not going to do the micas. I'm just going to do that glitter, that glitter, the one that's in the cat. I want it quite thick. Um, the glitter thing I'm using, uh, the glitter bit I'm using is from the range. That's an English company. I mean, this probably ain't enough to do the whole snail. So I'm going to do the this bit. Oh look, it's gone into the uh, face. Okay, so can you see it's gone in the face, but it's not going down the ear bits. So, I'm going to get my stick this time and try and edge it down. Can you see what I'm doing? I think you can see what I'm doing, can't you? Oh, I'm going to track it everywhere. I don't want it everywhere because it will go on the cats. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Very gently, I'm trying to get that bubble out. 
It's not coming out. I sort it out there, innit? So I'm going to try take that out. And I'm going to try with... Where's it gone? Need one of these. Need one of my little brushes. So push it down a bit more. It seems to be getting in there that way. Can you see what I'm, can you see what I'm doing? Hopefully you can. I don't want. Oops. Don't want to tip it too much because it will go over the cat bit. not coming out that bubble there's a bubble in there I can see it all right so I'm gonna have a go at squeezing it Hoping it's going to work this time. No, my luck, it will because it's black. I wanted the blue ones to be done. Ah, it's still got a bubble or something in there, I think. Hmm. Why won't you go down the hole? Or are you down the hole? You might be down the hole. Might be just me being silly. I think it might just be me being silly. That one looks like it's got a bit of air at the end of it. So I'm just trying very hard with this little micro brush to sort it out. All right, I think I'm going to leave that. I'll put that down there. And I shall empty out what I've got in here. Just to, I, might, I might even just make it. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> it's coming, I'll tell you now. I think I've basically done it. Hey, hey. I didn't think I would. There's not a lot in there that I can get out. I want a decent one because my granddaughter absolutely loves snails. So I want you to do it for her. So give that one a spritz as it's uh, only a thin mould. It's a little mould so leave that to dry. They look good apart from... Looks like it's got a bit of gunk in there. Probably off the mixing thing. Sometimes if you get hairs and you can't pick them up, or you get little bits, push them down into and they're like clear off of the the pots. If you push them down into the resin, it hides them. Obviously, it's it's hard to do it with the clear resin, but if it's like the black, it's easy. Okay, let me move that. Let me. What do I do with that? That cloth. Okay, you want. 
I'll just get another one out. I don't know what I've done with it. It's like everything in this place. I don't ever, never know where anything is. <laughs> I'll put it back in there, that's why. Let's just give this a quick wipe. So then I can put my net on. Right. That's basically it. I shall be back when they're dry. Ah, yeah, these are all nice and dry. It looks like I've got a hair or something across that one. There's always something, always something. I don't know what that is, but it looks like a scratch or something. But I will probably keep these. I think they're gorgeous. Absolutely brilliant. I'm so happy with them. Right, I've done this. I can't remember if it was with this video or the last video. I, I oops, <clears throat> can't remember. My little pot. <laughs> that's still well, that's a bit sweaty by the feels of it. But yeah, just a little trinket pot, just to put something stupid in there. Take them off. That's me lid to me cotton buds. Right. Hmm. The dreaded snail. Oops. Shall we have another go? Go. Oh, I hope it works. No, in my luck. This is just a plain black one, and it will work. Bit of overspill on it. The underneath is a bit. A bit sharp. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Sorry, I got halfway through what I was saying. Come on, don't you break. Come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> it's fine! It's brilliant! Right, turn you in the right way so I know it can be done so I reckon the gonna have to be the gold a little silver it's gonna have to be the gold this is deco color liquid gold extra fine Fine. Oh, some bubbles or something in that. Uh, oops. Let's go all the way around. Oh. Let me get cotton bud because for some reason I've gone completely wrong on that bit. God knows what I was thinking. that side oh that side we do this side as well shall we that's not so bad that one <laughs> I think he's really sweet finally got one which has a with eyes <laughs> I'm going to put feet, excuse the snail, I'm going to put these little feet on the base and I'm going to do it with my E600. Now for some reason I've got a hole or something in my E600 and it doesn't um, close properly. So 
I keep having to take you off. I keep having to push it open, uh, pin it open somehow. Stupid. I don't know why it's done this, but it has. Right. I'm going to lean it on that because I don't want nothing touching the back, at uh, the front, sorry. And I'm going to put a dab of E600 there. And put my foot on. And I'm going to do the same. Oh, yeah. Back in a minute, dog's out. 